Hey, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Girl, You Need to Hear This, your 10-minute weekly pep talk from your favorite motivated home, girl. So, let's get into it. I wanted to remind you that you are not your past. You are not your past. I think sometimes we get in the groove of life we get in the cycles of life and we always tend to revert back to what we did or what we used to do who we used to be and we use that as a block or a stopping point from who god wants us to be um case in point i remember when i was going through my season of heartbreak i was going through my season of isolation and the one thing that kept sticking out to me was he didn't love me enough right so if he didn't love me with everything that i gave him everything that i provided what does it make me feel like someone else is going to be able to come and love me right or even so when i was out there in the world doing my worldly thing right doing doing my worldly thing I used to always say, well, God is never going to talk to me or never going to deal with me because I was so heavy in the streets. I was so heavy in, I'm going to say the streets. I was so heavy in the world, heavy in the world, you know, clubbing, doing stuff outside of what the Bible says that we need to be doing. But I could have let that thing or those things stop me from pursuing my purpose and pursuing the things that God wanted me to go after because the thing that kept ringing in my mind is my past like oh my god like I got so much in my past God ain't gonna bless me God ain't gonna want to deal with me but as I started to get back into the word and as I started to get back into relation with him God grants grace and God grants forgiveness right because he knows And he knew that you were going to make a mistake. He knew that you were going to mess up. He knew that eventually you may not walk on the path that he has for you in this moment. But it doesn't take anything for you to get back on that path because you are not your past. God doesn't hold your past against you. And I think that's the thing. We are so focused on what people have to say about what we used to do and who we used to be. But the only thing and the only person that matters is God and what he says and what he feels and what he thinks about us and the thing is God looks at every one of us as his precious gem right like we are the best thing to ever happen to God for someone to love you unconditionally for someone that's always going to be there for you ride or die for someone that's going to be with you through richer and poor you can't compete with that no one can't compete with that because god gives unconditional love no matter how much you mess up no matter how much you stray away god is always going to be right there next to you every step of the way and i think one thing that we have to realize too is that even though you may be heavy in sin and heavy in you know doing worldly things god has never left your side God has never said, like, I'm through with you. God has never said, okay, yeah, now this is where I leave you. He's never going to leave you. But what he is going to do, he is going to test you. He is going to mold you. And he is going to break you down. So the only thing that you can do is seek him. Seek his face. And I learned that going through my tests and my trials and going through this journey and my, my faith walk. God will break you down till it's nobody left but you and him and you have no choice but that's why i tell you that you are not your past because if god knows what your past looks like and he still loves you he still wants to be there for you he still wants to pour into you he still wants to mold you to be the best version of yourself then what's stopping you what's stopping you from being the thing that god has called you to be Your past does not define you. Your past shapes you. Your past molds you. And your past will allow you to figure out if you ever want to be back in that place again. And I think because we try to hide our past that we forget where we come from. 
We forget where we come from. But I'm here to tell you, there's nothing wrong with reflecting over your past, but don't stay in it. There's nothing wrong with reflecting over your past, but don't stay in it. Focus on your growth. Focus on your elevation. Focus on your purpose, right? Because God sends us and puts us through things because sometime at one point we needed that. Because if he didn't do that, we would still be stuck at point A and not even trying to get to point B, C, D, E, F, G and down the line. God does things in his timing and his way because this life isn't up to us, right? It's up to him. Life is what we make it, right? But we have to surrender at some point. We have to surrender and say, okay, God, it's you. Like, I'm in this your world. I'm living in it, right? I want to be obedient to what you have for me. And your past is your past, right? Stop thinking about what went wrong, what you could have done better, and focus on what you're doing right now. Like, come on, think about it. In the Bible, there are stories of people who had a worse past than you, right? The worst past in you. And God still loves them unconditionally. God still has a heart for them. God still wants to provide for them. God still wants to be their confidant. So if he can do it for those people, why can't he do it for you? Why won't he do it for you? I think we have to get out of the attitude or the notion of, I'm the only one. Baby. There are people out there going through stuff way worse than you, that have a way worse past than you, but that didn't stop them from pushing towards the mark. That didn't stop them from being who God has called them to be. We have to stop playing the victim, hold ourselves accountable to what happened. All right, cool, that happened. So how do I move on to my next God? How do I transfer or elevate into my next? Because it's possible. It's possible. I could have let heartbreak keep me in a weird space. I could have let disappointment keep me in a weird space. But I know that what I went through is bigger than me. I know what my mission is, is bigger than me. And you have to start speaking that over yourself, baby. What you're going through is bigger than you. There's a bigger purpose attached to it. And you have to be obedient to that. You have to be so engulfed in that, that you understand that God loves you for you. God will always be there for you. Your past does not mean anything to him. It's all about what you're doing in this present moment. How are you serving him in this present moment? How are you serving the kingdom in this present moment? How are you serving yourself in this present moment? That's all that matters. You are not your past. You are not the thing that broke you. You are not the thing that caused yourself to fall into that hole. You're not. You've overcome that. Or you're in the process of overcoming it. Right? You're not staying in that place. You're not living in that place. So stop living in regret and thinking about the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Baby, it happened. <clears throat> what did you learn from it? How can you make sure that it doesn't happen again? Or when you're faced with that test, how do you make sure that you ace it? So don't worry about what the world says about you. Don't worry about what people say about you, your friends. Your, like, don't worry about none of that. Your coworkers, your boss, don't worry about none of that. Focus on what God has to say about you, what God wants for you. And I guarantee you, watch how better your life gets. Watch how big, like watch how much bigger your life gets because you're focusing and keeping your eyes on the prize. Not about what's around you, you're like blocking out the white noise, but you're focusing on what God sees for you and what God wants for you. You are not your past. You are your present and you are your future. Use what happened as stepping stones to get you to where you need to be. And at the end of the day, that's all he wants. He wants you to keep moving forward and trust him in the process of your rebirth and your elevation. Okay? You are not your past. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed your weekly pep talk. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.